Hello Virgo and welcome to Positive Light Tarot. My name is Tracy and I am so happy that you are here with me today. This is your reading for mid to end of May. So we're going to focus on your incoming energies and some messages from Spirit. And I am going to list all the decks that I use in the description box below. This is a reading for the whole collective, so please take what resonates and leave the rest. And if you find that it doesn't resonate with you, that's okay. Please also check out your rising sign if you know your birth chart. So we're going to take a moment to cleanse the space and then we're going to get right into your reading. So you're going to hear a loud bell sound now. All right, Virgo. So we're going to start with your energies. Then we're going to do some tarot cards and uh, really kind of delve right into this and see what's coming in for you for the next two weeks of May. So approximately from mid-May to the end of May. So spirit angels and guides for the beautiful sign Virgo. What are the energies that's surrounding Virgo as we move through these next two weeks? see anything else you'd like to share thank you so much anything else perfect okay so let's see so you've got some energies there we're going to start with the bottom of the deck well this is a beautiful beautiful card so number one the sun very much positive energy really feeling um, a sense of um Really, you feel as if your energy levels are really boosted up. You're really feeling as if you're on a high right now, which is a beautiful energy. You know, you're starting new projects. You're coming up with new creative ideas. You're embracing life with a whole sense of, of um, a, a sunny disposition. And this is beautiful. And look at blossoming abundance. You've got some beautiful energies that are coming into play. And of course, expanding your horizons here as, as we move into the next two weeks. But a lot of this happiness comes from really feeling a sense of abundance, really feeling as if you've really been expanding on something in your life. Now, whether it's a relationship, it could be a job, it could be a relocation, a new, uh, new place that you're living. Um, it could be, again, um, new relationships, new communities that you've involved yourself with. Again, it's going to be so totally different for each of you, Virgo. So take that as it, as it resonates. But this blossoming abundance, how can it not produce this sense of positive energy? So really feeling on top of your game right now, really feeling positive. So let's just talk about these energies. And then, of course, we're going to get into the tarot so that we can get a little bit more of a storyline as to what's, what each of these energies means. So number 43, man holding coin, can very well be your energy Virgo because it is an earth-bound um, symbol. Of course, we don't go by any genders with these with these cards. I just read them for the way that they are. So the man holding a coin could be Virgo, could be Taurus, could be Capricorn. See how that resonates with you. Um, this is all about, you know, really, really striving forward, making steps forward, putting plans and strategies into action because your long-term success, your long-term goals are really important to you at this time. So you're really, you know, really reflecting and really contemplating on the things that you need in order to progress in a positive way. Um, on, in a positive manner. Um, you know, you're, you're working on the resources that you need. You're trying to build that little bit of um, extra income uh, so that you can really feel, again, that sense of abundance. And you are feeling as if things are really starting to expand for you. That's a beautiful energy. And that's your energy right now. This is what's on your mind. This is what you're thinking. This is what you're trying to put into, um, into your plans. Now the seventh chakra, Archangel Uriel, number 41, it is all about your crown chakra, of course. That's located at the top of our head. This is, it's, it's said that when your crown chakra is in, in line, in al aligned, that all of your, your chakras are also aligned. So again, you know, it's a really, a sense of an awakening here. It's really discovering what your life purpose is and really trying to figure out the meaning behind everything that's coming into fruition for you. You're using this sense of enlightenment. It's like a new spiritual path that you're going on and it's really helping you to build that success for the long term. You also got number 46, the thinking man. This uh, is, of course, no gender again. This is could be ex your energy as well. And it's as if you're really, you know, taking some time out to contemplate and again, plan and really think about, you know, the situation that you're in right now, where you want your life to go. What are the next steps that you really, you know, you really want to, um, you know, fast forward in your life. Uh, number 46 in numerology would be um, come down to the number 10. So it's as if you're starting to really see the clarity in a situation and you're ready to start and embark on something new. 
Now, number 26, hostilities. We all have those at some point. You know, there's there's something that's going on around you that maybe, you know, you're just feeling a little bit of hostility or a little bit of um, uneasiness with. And it, it, we'll find out more when we get into the tarot because we'll get more specifics on it. But sometimes that's just an energy that we can feel, especially if we are really feeling this sense of enlightenment. We're really starting to feel like everything is starting to align and everything is coming into focus for us. And we're starting to see the clarity of situations. And you know, there might be some situations that you, you know, you, you're feeling a little hostility or a little bit of uh, anger towards and, but you know, you're, you're ready to face them. And this is what's really good is that you're not keeping it inside. You're not internalizing this energy. You're actually making sure that you're dealing with it. So let's get more information on all of these, because what you have to remember is that you have that sun energy. So a lot of positivity is around you at this time, even though we're down a positive path, we can still sometimes feel like there's certain things in our life that we know we have to rid ourselves of and um and those energies um they're they're they're, they're a natural part of our process they're a natural part of our life so not every single card can be perfect but in a storyline it can make sense okay so let's start with the man holding a coin let's find out and no gender let's find out about this energy and find out what's going on with these this energy Anything else you'd like to share, Spirit? Thank you. Anything else? So we've got some really key dates to watch out for here. Uh, May 18th is really the day of miracles. It's when the sun and Jupiter, the, the planet of expansion and luck, um, they unite and they have this meetup. And this is absolutely the most auspicious energy that could actually take place. So that's why they call it the day of miracles. It's when you're going to be feel the most um on top of your game as well you're ready to take leaps of faith you're, you're thinking about things that are going to make a huge difference in your life and you're ready to take the strides forward to do it so this is a very good day to do that now the first card that you got here for the man holding a coin you got ace of wands and of course that's all about new inspiration it's a new passion that's being ignited in inside of you it's it's some sort of opportunity that's presenting itself whether in a relationship or in a job or in a in an investment there is something that you are really feeling like you are ready to move forward with and it's this is what's causing this uh, positive energy as well but it's something that, you know, it's an opportunity that's going to arise that's really going to help make you uh, solidify these plans that you're trying to make for the long term. Two of coins. So there's decisions. So this opportunity that comes into play and is somewhat being offered to you is really presenting you with options. So the two of coins is about kind of juggling things. It's trying to decide on, you know, I can see that my ship can come in and I can see that there is something that can be very prosperous here. And it's a decision that I need to make. But I'm juggling things a little bit right now. So for some of you, it could be you're deciding, you know, do I relocate for work? Do I relocate for a relationship? Do I, um, do I take on a second income so that I can really plant my, my feet in a good position for long-term success? So you're going through some sort of decisions regarding your finances or your money or your work situation. Something that's going to, I think, bring in more financial stability for you. You also got number 20, uh, judgment. Very much, if you look at all the purple here, you are going through a major rebirth, a whole new renewal. There is a whole new you, Virgo. And you know, you've really taken time out um, during that Mercury retrograde. You could have really done a lot of re, um, revisiting of yourself, really going and doing a lot of deep soul searching to really, you know, again, um, plan how you want to make a difference in your life and figure out what you know, what is my life purpose here? What is it that I want to do to make a difference for me and for the long term? And I really feel like that's what you've been going through. It kind of is part and parcel of, you know, this seventh chakra and of course your crown chakra being open at this time. So you're going through a whole new rebirth, a whole new re renewal. For some of you, you could even, um, there could even be somebody from your past or a reconsider a reconciliation of some sort coming into play or something from your past that is just you're revisiting it you're revisiting some sort of opportunity maybe that came up in the past and you're really trying to juggle and decide whether or not this is something good for you but it's going to set you in a whole new a whole new perspective here so now let's get this seventh chakra let's find out about this crown chakra for you virgo this is of course for the next two weeks thank you spirit angels guides anything else you'd like to share Wow. Okay. They have a lot to share with you. 
I feel you have a lot of prosperity coming in for you. I noticed it in the last, uh, in the first two weeks of May, and we're seeing that as a continued, a continuation as we pro make the process uh, through the next uh, two weeks, the last two weeks of May. The Knight of Cups. This is like an offering of of love. It's um, and if it's if it's a, somebody who you know maybe you have started up a relationship with, or maybe it's somebody in your life that is offering you a sense of support and it's an emotional support which is absolutely beautiful and it really is helping to align that whole life purpose that's that's happening for you it's almost as if everything is starting to come into play for you and you're starting to see why all the puzzles of the pieces how they all fit in for you so the knight of cups again knights are all about action so whether it's you that's offering yourself up to somebody with a sense of um, an open heart or you are getting that back in return you're feeling a lot of emotional stability at this time and you're really feeling again you're really you know you are feeling um a lot of enjoyment and a lot of pleasure at this time as well you also got the uh, number 10, the Wheel of Fortune. And of course, this is Jupiter. So as I said, that Day of Miracles on May 18th, watch out for that day, May 18th. You've got uh, Jupiter coming up in your reading. It's going to be a day of love for you. I think you're going to see a lot of emotional fulfillment happen on that day. I think things are turning around for you where you have maybe felt like some of your luck has been, you know, kind of um, not always going in the way that you were hoping. You're really going to see that wheel turn. Cycles are changing in your life. You're coming to some completed cycles and you're going to be starting some new ones. And uh, along with that, you got the Ten of Coins. Beautiful card. You got this the last time too. The Ten of Coins is all about uh, future success as well. Planning for the long term. So for some of you, you could be, you know, saving for your retirement. You could be putting um, money away because you've got that extra money. Maybe you've been juggling those funds. You've got a little bit more money to invest, maybe investing in a home, investing in um, stocks or again, retirement or another property. Um, but it's some sort of, um, you're setting yourself up for um, long-term success here. And again, two tens, you're coming to completed phases here. Com again, it comes with this whole enlightenment. Um, everything is again starting to align for you. So not only did you get the Knight of Cups, you also got the Knight of Wands. So two Knights. So the Knight of Cups could refer, uh, reference a um, water sign. So Pisces, Scorpio or Cancer, if that means anything for you. And the Knight of Wands is all about taking that action. This is an adventurer ready to set, set off on a new adventure. For some of you, it could be a relocation. It could be changing of a job, changing of a home. Um, it's where you're feeling a sense of excitement. This is exactly where you want to be. You are ready to move. You are ready to not stay stagnant anymore. You're ready to proceed uh, quickly and quick movement forward. So f let's find out with the thinking man. Let's find out what spirit angels and guides would like to share. You're thinking, you're getting clarity on a situation, major clarity. Whoop. Okay. I'm going to just pick up the one that fell on the floor. Sometimes the cards go in all different directions. That's just the way they, they fall. So the eight of coins, again, you're working so hard towards something. You've been giving a lot of thought to, to things in your life. You know, really, again, really trying to put into perspective how to close out some chapters in your life to bring about new beginnings. And there's so much new beginnings coming in, in play for you. And what's nice about these new beginnings is that they're plant, they're, you're planting those seeds for success. Eight of coins. Some of you could be um, taking up a course or a certificate or furthering your education in some sort of field, whether or not it's just taking an extra course to, to again, to really, um, really anchor your position somewhere. Um, you have the, um, you have the hard work ethic, uh, built inside of you. So nothing, um, nothing stands in your way. You really are ready to um, educate yourself on a new level to really become a master of, of what it is you're doing. So there's something you may be thinking about going back to school or again, taking on um, some sort of new um, opportunity like that Ace of Wands and really running with something new in your life as well. The King of Swords is air energy. So Libra, Gemini and Aquarius energy. King of Swords is a leader. It's a, he's a master, again, no gender. Um, 
this could be your energy as well again you know you're really this thinking man and the king of swords are uh, part and parcel of the same person so it could be you again gaining that clarity um, or you could be looking to somebody for some advice as well and you're looking for some some sort of wisdom you're looking for somebody to help guide you along the way and there is somebody around here that's very protective and wants to see you succeed and they're there to really help you you know they're there to help you as well but you are getting to the truth of matters as well and by getting to that truth it's really going to clear up this hostility that that you might be feeling a little anxious about your three of wands here you are expanding into new territory so whether or not that expansion again is relocating for a job a new relationship it could be it's something that you are so excited to do it's something you've given a lot of thought to and you know if there were any legalities you know maybe you were signing contracts this could also be about a contract that you're trying to get clarity on about some sort of new job or new um, undertaking that has to do with schooling it's something that's going to expand your knowledge it's going to expand your horizons and you are going to feel a great sense of um, of fulfillment here this is something that is definitely needs to come into play so let's find out why uh, with all this beautiful energy virgo why it is you're feeling this sense of hostility so let's find out what that is why are we feeling a sense of hostility spirit angels guides all right all right okay so interesting okay so the hostilities we we got number five the hierophant this is this uh this is a tour this is taurus energy so that could have something to do with a taurus somebody who is taurus in your life but we are also still in taurus season until the 20th of of uh, may when gemini then um then the sun comes uh, into the sign gemini um, so if you are dealing with a Taurus, you could be feeling a little bit of hostility. Uh, maybe you, you know, it was something that you were committed to. It was something that you were feeling, um, you were really feeling, um, you know, um, like your morals and your, your values uh, were maybe being tested. And this is why you're feeling a little bit of hostility. But you were very much committed, very much committed to this energy. Um, it's very important to you uh, spiritually and re religiously. Um, it's really taking all of that into factor. I don't know if you can see it, but you can see this, the third eye here of protection. So it is a sense of protection here. Um, so knowing very well that your intuition is very, very strong. And if you are feeling any anxiousness or hostility towards a situation or a person, that your intuition is really guiding you here as well. So really, again, feeling um, that sense of um, security. You also got number 14, Temperance. This is a Sagittarius card and interesting enough, you also got the Queen of Wands, which is also very fiery energy. So you've got a lot of um, energy where you're really ready to start blending your world harmoniously together. And sometimes we can't do that until we rid ourselves of that sense of hostility. And I think you're going to be able to do that because with this Tempest cards, you're really looking for that balance in your life. You're really looking to, um, you know, you're really looking and empowered to, um, you know, take take those formulas that you you are so so good with, and you know, um, put them all together so that you can really blend something perfectly in your life. You're blending your worlds together. I think you're spirit on, on a spiritual quest as well. Again, with trying to find your life purpose, you know, you're really trying to find that peace and harmony as well. And sometimes we have to go deep within. Sometimes we have to fight our own battles and fight our own. Um, emotional insecurities or 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 um, or our or our in internal anger uh, towards something um, and sometimes it's so important for us to bring that to a head so that we can really again figure it all out so that we can blend it all together queen of wands energy is really feeling a sense of determination to move forward with your plans you're not letting anyth anything stand in your way and and you're doing that um, you're doing that um with a sense of peace and balance as well you know you're you're really out there to um to achieve something and you're going to feel a sense of accomplishment with this i believe that you are going to be able to get through the through this hostility so let's find out what you need to surrender to so let's find out what spirit angels and guides would like to share with us for the beautiful sign virgo now we do have a full moon coming into play on here we go. There we go. 
on the 23rd of May and it's going to be in the sign Sagittarius. So with having those two strong signs, uh, fiery signs, this could be a very important day for you. It's really where everything is going to reach. Um, it's going to reach reach its point where uh, I think you're going to be able to put some closure and some uh, some closure and really end some chapters in your life to begin those new ones. So you need to surrender your your need to always be right. I think we all have that in, our, in us. Um, I think we all at some point really feel like we are the ones that are the right ones. So give others the gift of letting them be right by yielding, not uh, by be yielding, not rigid. This will help resolve conflicts and improve your relationships again. And that would be a really great way to release yourself of any sense of hostilities as well. So really being able to do that, um, it takes a lot of strength and courage to do that. But you also have to surrender to complete healing. And that's also going to help you with that hostility as well. Open, uh, open fully to the loving, compassionate forces of the universe that support your physical, emotional, and spiritual healing. So you've got a lot of healing energies and you tend to get that quite a bit, Virgo. Uh, it is a beautiful energy, so the fact that you're able to do that is really going to help you move again, um, move into the direction of closing out those chapters. Again, with that full moon on the 23rd, you're going to really feel um, really like you're ready to to shed old skins and step into a new version of yourself, and uh, and that and that takes a lot of strength and courage. So now let's get uh, your uh, spirit card here. Let's find out. Here we go. Let's find out what the angels would like to share with you. Just one card for Virgo, please. What would you like to share with Virgo? Thank you so much. House. For some of you, it could be a move or relocation. Some of you could be looking to um, to make an agreement to, uh, you know, you've really been, again, you've been putting a lot, of thought into pro, a lot of thought into something. There could be an opportunity that presents itself that um, moves you in a totally new direction by physically uh, moving house. Some of you uh, may have your house on the market, and I think you're going to find in May, it's going to, you're going to make a deal that, that this deal is going to come through. This could be why there's a lot of hostilities as well, because, you know, when there's uh, negotiations happening, sometimes, you know, sometimes that can bring up um, a lot of, um, a lot of different emotions and it's definitely something that you're going to have to piece together but this house is a very prosperous number here number 17 um, watch out for number 17 it could be a very important day for you remember again on the 18th is the day of miracles so this very well could happen around that time but I really feel like there is some sort of a deal that's coming into play and spirit wants to say that this is going to be a profitable deal for you. So, you know, you're juggling things to try and make things work, but you know, it's, it's time for you maybe to uh, settle down in um, somewhere new um, and, you know, really make your house a home now. For some of you, it could just be renovating, renovating your homes. Maybe you're taking out loans or you're taking out um, approvals to, uh, to uh, enhance your home in a very drastic way I feel like it's you know not just little small renovations I think that it might be something on a bigger scale so now let's uh, find out from the angels uh, to tie this reading together let's find out spirit angels and guides to tie the reading together what are the messages you would like to share with Virgo what are those messages thank you so much oh you got I think there's two or three right there. Okay, let's see if there's anything else. Maybe one more. Thank you. So that's the one. Okay, so you got you got three. So you got the Queen of Michael. So brilliant, self-reliant, insightful, and humorous. So you know exactly what to do. Again, you know, you're guided in, your intuition is very strong. You know exactly what you need to do. The benefit of experience, a time for your career rather than relationships. So again, if you are relocating, maybe you are relocating and you have to settle yourself into a new job, a new home, it's time to focus on those things because that's going to really build your long-term success. Once you have that long-term success, then you'll be able to focus more on that personal side of what it is you need to emotionally fulfill, fulfill things for you as well. But I mean, it's saying you have to, to, to uh, it's a time for a career rather than relationship. But then the Ace of Raphael comes in and says a positive new emotional experience, fulfilling romantic relationships, deep and lasting spiritual insights. When I see these two cards together, it reminds me of temperance. You're really trying to, again to blend your whole worlds together. So you're blending in what needs to be done uh, on the physical way in a physical way. So with your um, with your job, with your uh, with movement, with moving, um, or promotions, anything like that. 
And the ace of Raphael is bringing in that sense of, um, of love, uh, really feeling a sense of support. Um, again, that could be that Knight of Cups that's coming in, that's offering you something to do on an emotional level. But it's a whole new sense of abundance coming into play for you on an emotional level. You also got the Page of Raphael, so a new emotional situation. So there's something new coming into play for you. It could be a person. Um, messages regarding relationships or social invitations, great intuitive insights. And we already talked about your intuition, again, being really high here with uh, that, that third eye right there. So you are protected. Emotionally, you are protected. I really feel as if you've got a nice balance going on here. There are so many changes that are coming into play for you. So I think you're going to find yourself, you know, really looking at maybe relocating for a job, maybe for a person. Could be a new relationship that's coming into be being or a relationship that started that's really taking those next steps. Um, if you've been in a long-term relationship, again, it could be that you've decided to start a whole new path together and, you know, it's taking you in a totally different direction. With all of this major energy that's going off on, no wonder you're feeling a little bit of hostility going on. I, I don't always see it as bad. I Again, I would... I would rather see that card come out instead of being it being internalized. So remember to always communicate and make sure that you're letting those around you that care and support you that they are that they know exactly how you're feeling and then it prevents really that that sense of hostility coming through. So to close out your reading, let's get your angel number and the message attached to it. This is for Virgo for the next 2 weeks. And, oh, you got two. So I'll read them both. You got three, 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 three. You have a higher perspective. So you are now embarking upon a journey of divine awakening, which we talked about in the beginning. Your heart and soul are being uh, beginning to open to the boundless wisdom of the universe. As you delve deeper into the mysteries of the divine realm, you will begin to see the world through a new lens, one filled with wonder and greater understanding. Wow, you are going through a major enlightening, enlightenment here. And then you got one, 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 oneness. You are an extension of the universe itself. Trust your creative power that is connected to your single infinite source of energy. Keep your intentions pure and your thoughts positive. You are a master builder and are destined for greatness. So watch out for any synchronicities of three, 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 and one, one, one. This is your angels trying to get your attention to let you know that they're there for guidance. They're there just to listen. They're there to help you through whatever situations you need. That's all I have for you today, Virgo. I hope that you enjoyed this reading. And if you did, please uh, leave comments. I love to read them. Please also consider liking, sharing, and subscribing. And until next time, sending you love, light, and positive vibes.